I wrote, I heard your song and now I'm in love. Will you marry me? He said, appreciate your comment. I'm already married. Awkward face emoji. Welcome to episode six of DMing the most famous person in every country in the world, a show where we learn about different places and the celebrities that live there. If you guys like the show, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Also hit like. If this gets 10,000 likes, I'll keep making episodes. We haven't been getting 10,000 likes, so step it up or the higher ups are gonna make me cancel the show, you know? I'm the higher up, but I feel like it's, it sounds cooler if, if I make it seem like anybody else is involved in the show. So hit like and share the videos because I wanna keep making these and ultimately travel to the countries and meet the celebrities. And the only way I can do that is if the videos do well enough for me to be able to get a budget to travel to those places. So it's in your hands, guys. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be changing things up and I wanna get you guys involved in the series. I'm gonna be calling followers and asking them which celebrity they want me to DM. So if you wanna be in a future video, make sure to comment where you're from below, take a screenshot of it, post it on your story on Instagram and tag me. So that's it, let's get on with the episode. I'm very excited about this one because I'm starting to bring back celebrities from previous videos. Although I can't currently travel to spend a day with them because of what's going on in the world, I want to start meeting them. I've been reaching out and organizing FaceTime interviews with them. So today I'm going to be interviewing Karina Ramos. She's got 634,000 followers on Instagram and she is Miss Costa Rica. Let's do it. So we had a call scheduled two days ago and I haven't been able to reach her ever since. So this is going to be harder than I thought. I need these videos to like blow up so these celebrities actually want to be a part of these projects. So we'll see what happens. I promise I'm going to do better. I'm going to get an actual FaceTime call for next week. I really wanted to talk to Miss Costa Rica. I told her I was Miss America, we were a match made in heaven, and, and I got ghosted. I got stood up. We have Gabon, okay? What is Gabon? So Gabon is a country in Central Africa, and it has gorillas and hippos and whales, lots of animals, sounds exciting. This looks like Teletubby land or something, like these green mountains. Okay, so this guy, Bruno Aquele Manga, has 34,000 followers. He represented Gabon in the 2012 Olympics. He's a soccer player. Look at him run. It's intense. I'm just gonna pretend I'm on his team to get his attention. Did you grab my shorts after practice? Next we have Gambia. Gambia is a small West African country. It also has a lot of animals, monkeys, leopards, hippos, hyenas, and rare birds. The rarest birds. What? They live on water? That's, this is crazy. Okay, so the girl I found is an interesting musician. She was born into one of five principal kora playing griot families from West Africa. And she's the first female professional kora player to come from a griot family. So kora is like a complicated instrument that not a lot of people know how to play. And griot is a member of a class of traveling poets, musicians, and storytellers who maintain a tradition of royal history in parts of West Africa. So her story sounds really, really cool. And her music is awesome. Here's her Instagram. So her name's Sonia Jabarte, and she has 26,000 followers. That's the instrument right there. Wow. You guys should all go check out this music video. I can't play the whole thing because of copyright reasons, but it's Sonia Jabarte Gambia official video. It has 11 million views and it like really shows their culture, what it looks like and, and all the people and, and the traditions. It's really, really fascinating. I really want to learn how to play the griot. Could you teach me? Georgia. I've actually been to Georgia. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. The people there are incredible. The mountains, the nature, it's really, really cool. And I went to Tbilisi originally, which is like the capital, and then traveled all around there. It's an amazing place. So this is not Georgia in America, it's Georgia the country, and it's at the intersection of Europe and Asia. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. So there's two people I want to message from Georgia. One of them is actually the third president of Georgia and my dad actually knows him. So he said he could maybe organize a meeting with me and him. And if I go to Georgia, then I can actually talk to him. And he's a very controversial president there. He's done a lot and gotten rid of crime. I would say he's pretty famous. He was the freaking president. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Mikhail Shakashvili. And so this is him. He's very, very influential, a big deal. Do you know my dad, Gary Yuri Tabak. And then the second person I wanted to message was a musician. Her name is Tamta. She has 231,000 followers. She looks super chill. Your music made me cry. I love you. Next, we have Germany, which I've also been to. If you don't know what that is, it's a country in Europe. It's a beautiful place. Man, I feel like I don't remember all these places. Like I went to them when I was a kid. 
And I have terrible memory from my childhood, I guess. So I'm gonna be messaging Heidi Klum. She has 7.4 million followers. She's a model from Germany. She's a judge on America's Got Talent. I used to love that show. I auditioned for it and I didn't get on. So what the hell's up with that? Why was I rejected from America's Got Talent? I'm really talented. Next, we have Ghana. So the person I found from Ghana is Jackie Apia. She has 7.6 million followers. She's an actress. She's in a lot of Nollywood movies, which I just learned about. It's a huge thing in Africa and I guess the world. I, I don't really know how far it spans, but it's like the Hollywood of Africa and the movies are very interesting. I watched like five minutes of one. You disappoint me. What else do you want in life? What? You take him away from me within a twinkle of an eye. I did not do that, Evelyn. Evelyn? Come on, Evelyn, shut up. You're not being fair. Jesus. Ugh, I hate Evelyn, okay? She's the worst, man. Evelyn is a fucking bitch. Can I be in your next movie? This is my audition. Evelyn, you're not being fair. You're not being fair, Evelyn. Next, we have Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a British overseas territory. Let's check it out. It's an entire city just but smack in the middle of it. Looks like it's a huge mountain. It looks so interesting. So the girl I found for this is fascinating. She's the former mayor of Gibraltar and she was the beauty queen who won Miss World in 2009. So she has 2000 followers. I think she's very reachable. I'm Mr. Universe. Let's collide. That was smooth. Next we have Greece, which is a country in the Balkans. It has thousands of islands and Athens, its capital retains landmarks from the fifth century BC. Mamma mia. That movie took place in Greece and I, I'm reacting like mamma mia. You get it? That was funny. I really, really want to go to Greece. Just the architecture is insane. So from Greece, we have Despina Vandy with 379,000 followers and she's a coach on the Greek voice, I guess. She likes to eye the camera. Like it's a lot of just like close up, her staring into your soul, just flirting with her eyes. Why is it anybody I would turn my chair for you. Next we have Greenland, which is the world's largest island. It's just like a little snow island with little cabins. So the famous person I found in Greenland is very interesting. Her name is Nukaka. I'm so immature. When I poop, I make a new caca. I'm so stupid. Her name is Nukaka Coaster Waldau. She has 6,000 followers and she's a singer, actress, and former Miss Greenland. She's also married to a Danish actor named Nikolaj Coaster Waldau. He was one of the main actors in Game of Thrones. So yeah, she's, she's an actress. I guess this is a poster for one of her projects. I also have a video of her song. Every breath I take, baby. I feel high after hearing your song. Is that normal? Next we have Gren Grenada. Grenada. Grenada, is that like Canada, but with a G? It's Canada, but they've replaced every C with a G. So they don't have Krispy Kreme, they have Grispy Cream. They don't say cucumber, they say gugumber. So it's a country in the Caribbean. It's gonna be beautiful. And it's beautiful. What's up with the water there? Why do they have all these lines in the water? So this is a famous cricketer. His name is Andre Fletcher. He has 21,000 followers. Look at that smile. This guy's got a great smile. It's so intense. It's just, <laughs> it's like his mouth is the only thing smiling. Everything else still looks like he's like very serious. <laughs> he always has the same face in every picture. Look at him, there he is. That's him playing cricket. I never knew cricket was such an intense sport. They wear helmets. Let's play some cricket. Boom. Next, we have Guadalupe. Guadalupe is a French overseas region, and it's an island group in the Southern Caribbean Sea. Hmm, so pretty. This guy is a famous handball player. I used to love playing handball in PE when I was in like middle school. I thought that was the most fun sport ever. I really wanna be a professional handball player. Can you help me? Okay, so next we have Guam, which is a US island territory in Micronesia. Wow. So cool. This is how Chill Eric reacts to everything, by the way. Let me know if you like it more. So Donovan Patan was born in Guam. He has 10,000 followers and he's one of the actors on Blue's Clues. I don't watch Blue's Clues, but look at this. Committing to the bit. I love it. Have you seen my dog? I can't find him anywhere. Let's see if he responds. Because if he says he's never seen this dog before, then he's a freaking liar. 
Next, we have Guatemala, a Central American country south of Mexico, and it's home to volcanoes, rainforests, and ancient Mayan cities. Ooh, that's so pretty. <laughs> So the famous person from here is Carlos Pena with 30,000 followers, and he's the Latin American Idol winner. I like his style, he looks cool. Look at that little smirk. Ooh, yeah, little smirk looking away. I heard you sing, and now I'm in love. Will you marry me? Next we have Guernsey. Gorns and Ramsey? Gornsey is one of the Channel Islands in the English Channel near the French coast. Okay. Pretty, 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 very pretty. So Jensen Button with 1.1 million followers is a Formula One race car driver supposedly from there. It's crazy, dude. Race car driving is insane. I just watched Ford vs Ferrari. That movie was incredible, so intense. So I have a huge respect for race car drivers now. Can you teach me how to drive stick shift? Please. So next we have Gwena, a country in West Africa. Nice waterfalls, I like waterfalls. Waterfalls are great, very fun. Chill Eric doesn't know how to react to photos. He's, I'm just like, lose vocabulary. Good, pretty, very nice. We've got Super, what a name, with 6,000 followers and uh, he's a soccer player from there. Love the hair. It's crazy that your name is Super and you're also super good at football. Next, we have Guinea Bissau, a country in West Africa. This is crazy. It's just a picture of just wild monkeys. This is the realest picture on Google right here. No fake, beautiful Instagram filter of some sort of architecture. It's just some forest and monkeys, baby. We got another soccer player, Bruma, with 439,000 followers. Bruma? Uh, does anybody have a Bruma? We need to dust some stuff. Stop making fun of people's names. So he seems like a pretty popular soccer player. Don't know him. What do you think of this kick? Any notes? Please don't judge my socks. I was doing laundry today and I'm literally out of socks. So I put on my mom's socks. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we have Guyana. It's a country in South America and it's defined by its dense rainforest. What? That's actually crazy. Is that forest or is that, what is? Who is this? Oh. I was about to say like, who is from here with 83 million followers? It's uh, it's Rihanna. I miss Rihanna. I feel like I haven't, I haven't followed up on what she's doing in a long time. I'm glad I'm reconnecting with her. It's so good to see your face. Miss you girl. Hope you're doing well. Love from your long lost friend. Man, if Rihanna actually responds, that would be the highlight of this entire series. Let's get her to respond. Tell her that her best friend, who she hasn't spoken to in 20 years, is trying to get in contact with her. And what if I actually convince her we used to be friends and she just kind of goes with it and we <laughs> reunite and it's a completely made up story. The rugby guy responded, I wrote, I'm trying to make rugby more popular in America. Can you help me? What do you need? What do I need? That's a good question. Can I come train with you? So we have one more response from Ismail Bangura. He's a soccer player from Guena. Guena, I, I never know how to pronounce it. His Instagram name is Super, so I wrote, it's crazy that your name is Super and you're also super good at football. Like super duper good. And he said, yes. <laughs> what kind of response is that? Yes, I am super duper good. I also got a response from Carlos Pena from Guatemala, who was the Latin American Idol winner. I wrote, I heard your song and now I'm in love. Will you marry me? He said, appreciate your comment. I'm already married. Awkward face emoji. I think he thinks I was serious, but I appreciate his nice letdown. Like, dude, I'm so, I'm so sorry. If I wasn't married, we could totally get married. But unfortunately, I'm married and I feel so bad about it. So that's it, we DM'd everybody, now we wait. I'll let you guys know who responds in the next episode. So again, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss it and hit like 10,000 likes. Come on guys, we can do it. Let's keep making this show. Again, don't forget, if you wanna be involved in the show, make sure to follow me on Instagram, comment which country you're from below, take a screenshot of it, post it on your story and tag me. Love you guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bring it. I wrote Miss Costa Rica another message. I said, if you were a chicken, you'd be impeccable, but I still haven't gotten a response. I mean, that's a good line.